Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got a very subtle Christmassy set to show you guys. So I decided to incorporate a bit of a nude, a black and a white, and just a little bit of a hint of Christmas in there, just because of the season we are in today. Um, and yeah, and then I came up with a set. So if you guys would like to see how I achieved it, then just keep on watching. So as usual, I've got my Macart press on nails and um, I've buffed them and also applied some nail cleaner and now I'm going in with my base coat. So the base coat I'm using is from Venaliza and it's their big 12 mil milliliter bottles. Absolutely love it. It has literally lasted me forever. It feels like absolutely forever. Love it. Um, and then after it goes into the lamp, it's out and we can start applying our base colour. So luckily for this set, the base colour can go on all of those nails, so that makes it nice and easy. And the colour that I am using across all those nails for the base colour is colour N17 from Cloud Beauty. I absolutely love that shade. If you guys watch me, you guys know almost in every single video, it feels like I've got this shade in. I'm running out, as you can see, because I have to tip the bottle over now to try and get all the last little bits. So I do have to order another one, but oh my gosh, this nude is just perfect. I can't express it. It's not too warm, not too cold. I just love it. Especially, I feel like on the stands, the stands didn't really give it too much justice just because you can see that blue tag behind them. But the moment you take it off, absolutely gorgeous. And you, they're not sheer. I don't know why they appear sheer. Uh, maybe because the blue tag is a super dark shade. But when you do put on your nails, they are not at all sheer and they're super cute. So as you already saw, the first coat has been applied, popped into the lamp, and now we are tackling it with a second coat. And then once that's done, we can start working on our nail art, which is my absolute favourite part of the video. And so with the nail art, I did a bit of some simple French tips and a snowflake here and there, but I tried to keep it fairly simple. Um, I still wanted it on theme because it is Christmas, but at the same time, I feel like there's just sweater looks all over the place, Christmas red nails all over the place, and I just wanted to do something different, something a bit more subtle, because not everyone wants to walk around with crazy red nails or green nails or, I don't know, sweatery nails. Sometimes someone just wants just that little hint of... Um, Christmas, but also kind of classy. It feels like this set can be looked as a classy Christmassy set, I think. So uh, that's what we're going to achieve today, hopefully. So now that our base coats, our well, yeah, base coats are cured, we can work on our nail design. So I decided to start off with the middle finger. So at the top of the nail, I decided to put a snowflake. So I really struggled with the snowflake on camera. I keep going in and out, in and out trying to um, get those lines straight and fix up any mistakes. So I started off with doing an X and then I did lines coming from in between the two lines that are already there. And this is also the first time I did a bit more of a detailed snowflake. So my knowledge on snowflakes have now expanded and I can do a slightly different design rather than my basic like dotting tool kind of snowflake. And once you've got your like lines drawn, as you can see, I'm almost creating these little triangles in the middle and it creates such a cute little addition to the snowflakes it looks so detailed so I'm just doing that across the whole snowflake all around and then once I'm happy with that I then go ahead and create two lines from each arm going around the snowflake again I'm so sorry guys I'm probably not explaining it well but what I'm trying to basically say is what I'm doing right now so I'm doing two lines on those hands arms lines I'm not sure all around the snowflake and then that snowflake will be done so i did off camera do a second coat of this snowflake just went over what i've already done just because i felt like that black was fairly sheer in some areas and i wanted it very opaque basically so i did go off camera and do that there's a few things here i think i went off camera to do the second coat just because i don't always want to bore you guys just staring at me doing the second coat unless i have something to say but I feel like in today's video there's not really much to say. So here is it with two coats. And here I decided to put some Macar gem glue gel thing right in the middle of that snowflake and pop a crystal there. Just a cute little crystal just to add some sparkle to the set and make it look super cute. And that will be our nail done. So now whilst that one is in the lab we are working on our index finger and for the index finger I decided to keep it nice and classy and just do a simple French tip. So off camera I outlined my French tip and I'm just filling in the bottom. Filling it in. I did sometimes consider maybe putting a white snowflake on top of that um, French tip just to give it that extra 
Christmassy vibe, but I felt like it was too many snowflakes next to each other because we already have a snowflake on that middle finger, so I decided to keep it nice and bare um, and just that classy little look, that sleek look. So I did also apply two coats of that French tip on the black. I'm not sure, I think I did show it, this one on camera or at least a little bit of it. There's that one, there's me applying the second coat of the black, but I've only showed a little bit of it because I think I struggled around the edges around the um french tips so i had to go off camera and i think i yeah i think i also had something in there i had to get out so i just finished that one off camera there we go that one's all done and cured ready to go and now we are working on our ring finger and so for that ring finger i just did like a swirly line going from one end of the, na of the nail to the other unfortunately i did a small little dot where i didn't want to but i did make it work later on didn't have to wipe it i just popped the black right there where the dot was and I kind of want to create as if we've got black and white coming from that line so I've noticed a lot of people are doing that kind of design on Christmassy sets so I gave it a go mine didn't come out as well because you're meant to kind of mimic that those lines are coming from one point of that line and not just from that line so it's not exactly what I was going for, but I feel like it still came out really cute looking. Just It all just makes it look like there's lines coming from that main black line. But it's all good. I might try again with other colours in a different set and see how I do then. So that black was cured. I'm going in with a second layer of that black. And then in between the black and the nude now, where the nude is, we'll apply some white. And it's the beauty in this set is that you don't actually have to be too precise. You can't really tell, especially with the nail we're working on right now. You can't, like, you don't have to be too precise with it because even if you go wrong, the, we are applying crystals at the top on that line. So it doesn't have to be perfect right in that area. Of course, down the bottom of the nail, it does because you will see that. But at the top, no. So you will see that one applying the white. I did go a bit messy here and there, but it literally doesn't matter. I didn't even clean it up and you cannot tell in the nail. So whilst that ring finger is in the lamp, we can work on our pinky. And I kind of decided to do almost like a French tip, but only half of it. So I'd just draw a line across the nail and then just filled in one part of that nail. And yeah, just filling it with the black. That also will be a two coat kind of job. And then once that pinky is done, I also decided to pop that white snowflake that I was thinking about popping on the index finger on that finger. Just because we had that... Um, in the, uh, the ring finger in between the middle finger that already has the snowflake I felt like it was perfect and the snowflakes won't be too close to each other So now I'm applying my second cut of the black on that pinky and Then we can also finish off that ring finger with our white lines Let me know guys what you think of this set. I hope you guys liked it I did try to put a bit of a twist on this Christmassy theme that's going on right now um I am running out of ideas. If any of you guys have any super cool looking sets you'd like me to try out and recreate, do give me a shout um, on Instagram or wherever you follow me or in the comments. I would really like to see them and see if I can recreate them for you guys and see how to make them basically. Um, but now we are back working on our ring finger and as you can see I'm just filling in that gap where that nude is now. Nothing too precise, and even if you go over the black, it literally doesn't matter because we will also be popping two layers of that white. So if at any point you go over the black and it, you can see the black from underneath the white, that's literally because it's the first layer and after applying the second layer, you will not be able to see anything. I'm also really excited because I ordered in some Christmassy stamping gel, uh, stamping like plates. So I'm super excited. I also ordered some stamping gels that I will do a review on when they come through. I'm really excited. They're from Pretty. Hmm, what are they called? I think they're called Born Pretty. There we go. Born Pr Pretty on Amazon. I'm going to review them when they come through because I'm super excited. I have had a few plates before, but I've never really got the hang of them. So it'll be quite interesting to see how I do and how the gels perform how the plates perform and everything so that'll be really exciting and the plates i got from um shein as well so we, we will have a shein haul coming very soon and they have some really cool new stuff on there so i'm really excited to show you guys what comes through but i don't think it will come through until um i think after christmas near the end of december so it's a bit of a wait still to go but it's probably definitely worth it because I love the Shein stuff and every day they have new items. I'm literally hovering on their website every day just filtering so that it shows me the newest items right at the top just to bob into my basket because I'm so obsessed. 
Um, but yeah, going back to the video, we are working on our pinky, and here is the snowflake we have created on top of the black. So that snowflake is the same design as the snowflake we did on that middle finger, which is super nice. Um, you're just recreating it, just making it smaller and a bit more in the middle. And whilst that one is in the lab, we are now working back onto that uh, ring finger. And like I said before, where that black line is, we're going to be popping crystals. And the way I popped those crystals was, pop the biggest one kind of in the middle-ish, and then followed by smaller crystals, and just follow that pattern all the way down. So you want the smallest crystals to be right at the bottom of the, both of the lines, just the smallest crystals, and the bigger one right in the middle. So I just followed that. I really like the way this nail looks, especially matte top coated. It looks so cool because we will be matte top coating this whole set, as I'm sure you saw in the thumbnail, and it came out looking so cool. Um, when making this set, I did drop one of my plastic little containers for crystals, and it spilled all over my rug. And I've got this like, te not teddy bear, but it has like long hairs. And oh my gosh, I had to dig for all of those hairs trying to get those crystals out. It was a pain. It was a pain. I don't know how I managed that, I just literally dropped it, just caught it on something and it went flying, so not good, not good, but I did recover as many as possible and I will probably end up finding crystals here and there as the days goes on. Um, but so yeah, right, um, so the ring finger has gone into the lamp and now we are working on the pinky and I also decided to apply a crystal right in the middle of that snowflake and everything has been popped into the lamp and cured and now it's time for our top coat so the top coat I am using is from my gel and it's by the company called Miley and it's no wipe top coat and it's matte so I got that one on Amazon I recently kind of did like a little review on it and some links so I will try and make sure that they are linked down in the description this top coat but yeah, I love it. It's been a pleasure to work with. <laughs> it's been so nice. I love it so much. And yeah, I just wanted to mention, as usual, do not try it. Well, at least try it and don't get your top coat, especially your matte one. On your crystals, you don't want to dim down your crystals. I do feel like the middle finger with the black snowflake, I did mess up a bit. I feel like that one is a bit dimmed down. So that's a bit of a bummer. I feel like sometimes if when I scratch at it hard enough, it will come off. But obviously at the same time you're risking the crystal snapping off the nail so it's just better to just avoid it spend more time applying the top coat in the first place um rather than later tackling <laughs> scraping the top coat top coat off the crystal and then yeah and I, I also love applying my top coat i probably mentioned this before but i just love the transformation it gives the nail set sometimes good sometimes bad you can never know until you take out the lamp to see whether it's uh was a good move or was it a bad move but I love the transformation it gives. Love it. So yeah, so this is the matte top coat applied. We're going to pop it into the lamp and here is our final results. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.